Hey, what is up guys? Gitarok here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Guess what? The Nexon actually did it. They released Double Banner, but it's not for Koharu, which is what most people have predicted. And apparently, Hibiki is the next character to be featured in the banner. Alright, so as you can see, they posted this about 11 hours ago. So a new pickup recruitment will begin all right, on 25th of January. And you can see Hibiki will be the next one alongside she will be a separate banner and then we'll have Azusa and Hanako will be in a separate banner of their own. So here's the thing right now that Hibiki is here this changes some things all right and I know that coming into this like I'm going to give you my perspective as someone who do not own a Hibiki. Now obviously if you have Hibiki you obviously don't have to worry about Hibiki being here you just have to worry about Azusa. You either go for Azusa or you save or you wait for Koharu or you save and wait for the summer characters whichever that you want. Perhaps that will be coming after Koharu right? But the thing is Hibiki is really good right? So I believe Azusa is going to be really really strong against Hieronymus but so is Hibiki. Now for those players who do not have Hibiki, Hibiki is one of the most flexible character in terms of all the three star like she is one of the best offensive character besides healers that stays at the back talking about characters like the special type right so the thing is if you can only pick one if you are a free to play which one is going to be much more beneficial for you should you pull for azusa should you pull for hibiki or should you wait for koharu now this is something that i want to talk about and discuss about in today's video so let's talk about it for a bit now first things first, let's talk about skill sets of Hibiki. Now since Hibiki is currently available for us, let's just look at her skill. Alright, first things first, Hibiki is not a striker, she's a special type student. So unlike Koharu and Azusa, she doesn't really compete with them directly. But in terms of, you know, positioning, in terms of flexibility, she's much more of a special unit. And she perhaps compete with Mashiro will be the closest that you can think of that's perhaps like competing for her in that particular slot in the back for a special student. Now, as you can see, she's an explosive type. So let's have a look at her skills when she's maxed. What can she do? Now, first things first, 4 EX skill costs. So she does 591% of attack to enemies within the 5 circular area, which is crazy. All right, and she has the 275% of attack as damage in the circular area around the enemy with the lowest HP every 20 seconds. This is going to be really really annoying right if you have played pvp before you know hibiki is pretty toxic right there she is one of the strongest unit because she can occasionally this aoe can hit so many units that you know your yori or your haruna ends up dying it can sometimes happen if you have used any of those weaker snipers characters before and then she have enhanced skill which increases her own crit damage by 26.6 percent this is of course at level 10 keep in mind and the last sub skill increases ally crit damage by 17.3%, which is very, very good because it increases everyone's uh, skill damage, you know, not just her own. Her own is 26.6%, but everyone's crit damage will be increased by 17.3%. Now, if we strictly compare the role of Hibiki comparing to Azusa, Hibiki is a much better student to invest or to obtain early on. All right, I'm going to say if you are free to play and you can only choose between Hibiki and Azusa, I'm definitely going to go for Hibiki. Now here's why. All right, very important. You need to know why as well. Now, like I mentioned, Azusa is going to be very, very strong in the upcoming raid, which is Hieronymus. So is Hibiki. But outside of this raid, will Azusa be strong in any other raids? All right, for example, if we are talking about the raids that we have had before, talking about Shirokuro, talking about Bina, talking about Cheese. Azusa might not be that strong in those other raids. But Hibiki, she can be used there. Alright, because her job is not necessarily to use the EX skill. She doesn't have to. You don't have to activate this skill. As long as she has this sub skill which gives ally crit damage 17.3%, she will always be able to help increase everyone's damage altogether. And also Hibiki is going to be a much more flexible unit in PvP. Alright, I know PvP is something that you know a lot of people don't care about as much because they think it's super RNG and I can totally understand that mindset but Hibiki makes it so easy for PvP. If you have fought 
players that have UCB key against you, you would know the area is just crazy. She's just like a easy, quick hack kind of way to get to the top rankings. Like easily, most people that manage to climb to the top rankings, they basically just abuse Hibiki like crazy, right? And she's just that good uh, investment-wise. If you invest in one character, Hibiki, she can be used almost everywhere. Whereas for Azusa, I'm not saying that you can't use Azusa in PvP. I just don't think that Azusa is as flexible as Hibiki overall. This is just what I think. Now personally, as someone that do not own her, as you can see on my account right here, on my list, she's still not obtained by me yet. So I'm looking forward to hopefully, I've been thinking this through, you know, for, for the last couple of hours after I saw the post, and I think most likely I'm gonna go for Hibiki. It's gonna make a lot more sense than going for Azusa. I might have to stay out for Azusa for the time being, as much as I would love to obtain her. I can't be too greedy, you know, Koharu is coming. Now let's talk about Hibiki versus Koharu. Now in this case, which one do I think, right? I still think the same thing applies. Hibiki is still going to be much more flexible overall because of how flexible and how good she is everywhere. More than likely, Azusa and Koharu mostly only going to use them in raids. Now again, I'm not sure how many players out there do not own a Hibiki. I just feel like Hibiki is one of the better units to have uh, in terms of rerolling. Most players definitely should try to reroll for her. I got a bit lazy on my first day of rerolling. I didn't go for her that hardcore. You know, I went, ended up with Yori instead, which I'm pretty happy with. But I still think that Hibiki is one of the best, if not the best, special type students that any player should have. And regardless of you being a free to play or you're not, you definitely need to try to own her. Until now, I think in JP, she's still irreplaceable. And one thing is, if I'm not mistaken, I heard that Azusa can be farmed later on in some of the story stages. But Hibiki apparently still can't. But then again, if you're playing this game for waifu, go for whichever you want. I know a lot of people like Azusa because of her looks and stuff. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think and I'm curious if any of you guys do not own Hibiki, are you going to go for her instead? I can't wait. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.